this. Habib, are you all right? You were supposed to call me last night. It was impossible. The police have been everywhere. The, uh, the newspapers mentioned some, uh, some missing money. Sir, there was no money, as you well know. Rahman, do not concern yourself with American newspaper reporters. The plan is working perfectly. Arrangements have been made for the flight. I shall meet you in one hour. The rendezvous we agreed on. Yes, yes, yes. Remember, Habib, one hour. Hassan Salah speaking. I shall be retiring to my quarters now. Please see to it that I am not disturbed. Thank you. Salah. Calmly, calmly, my dear friend. Now, panic can only bring on fear and defeat in this life. Did you bring the papers? Ah, yes. Good. Here is your new passport. Your ticket to Bern. And... Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand? A job well done should not be casually rewarded. Hmm? I, I don't know what to say. I, you know, sir, all these years working as a code clerk, I, I never dreamed I'd be involved in matters of such significance. Let me assure you, Habib, within days your name will be shouted loud in the streets of Swati. It is a promise. Now come, come, come. Is that who? Habib. I don't know. I just got here myself. Um, Amir Faisan. His name was Habib. He was carrying a phony passport. Where are his personal effects? Well, that's his stuff over there. Time of death? Uh, let's see. Eddie did a preliminary workup on this guy before he had to leave. Uh, oh, yeah. Time of death between 
8.30 and 10.30. Is that the best you can do? Give me an eyewitness and I'll do better. What is that, Doc? Bits of uh, broken glass there? Bits of broken glass. Let's see what I've got here. Gee, that doesn't look like broken glass to me. Just one more thing. 